Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Living in Green Bay. You know, one of the, if not the most beautiful seasons in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area is fall. And with fall being right around the corner, no, actually I would say right above us right now, it's about to fall on us per se with all these crunchy leaves. I wanted to make sure that you had some different places you could go to to take in the fall colors in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So today in this video, we are talking about six different places you can go to see and enjoy the fall colors and the fall feel in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Let's go check some out. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Living in Green Bay. We are going to get to these six different locations here really quick. We're actually at the first one right now. Before we jump into that, I just wanted to remind you, my name is Andrew Guywitz, and I'm your local real estate professional here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. Make sure to hit me up if you have any home buying or home selling needs. I would love to help you, your friends, your family, anyone out in those different regards. Now, let's talk about spot number one in our tour of six different places you want to be in Green Bay to enjoy the fall colors. And that's the two different campuses in the Green Bay area that really allow for like awesome walking views. UW Green Bay and St. Norbert College, both of them have a really beautiful fall ambiance. I think universities as a whole really have a, a life to them in the fall. And uh, UW Green Bay offers the Arboretum, which I'm actually on the shore of Green Bay right now and the Arboretum at UW Green Bay goes all the way down to the water here and you can walk and just take in tons of colors, different terrain types, beautiful fields, everything that you could want as far as outdoor fall views are at the UW Green Bay Arboretum. In St. Norbert, you get almost a little bit more of that town feel along the Fox River with the beautiful historic buildings and all of that and it kind of gives you that fall campus ambiance that's I think really special. Stop number one on our tour is the different universities in the Green Bay area. Okay we are at our next location and uh, one thing you'll notice about a few of these is you can't exactly stop on them. They're good for getting a view as you're maybe driving in the car. In this case we're talking about the Mason Street Bridge which is right behind me here. And uh, it's a really beautiful view. They do have a sidewalk up there, but there's something really cool about getting a view of downtown in the fall. There's all these church steeples and you know buildings, brick buildings, beautiful view of this you know old historic downtown, the, the dome of the city hall, all of that encompassed and encased in beautiful fall leaves. It's absolutely worth checking out, a small walk, if you want, you can come down here like I am along the river walk and walk up over to the bridge and walk along the river as well because who doesn't want to walk around along a, ri a river and enjoy the beauty that, you know, that has as well. So almost a two for one in that way where you can enjoy the river and also get a really good view up there. The next one that I'm going to talk about, like I said, some of these we can't stop at, and that is driving over the Big Blue Bridge in Green Bay. It's probably the highest point you can get to in Green Bay to get a real visual of the city in the fall, other than maybe if you used a drone or something. You can just see so much of the city, maybe have someone else drive while you look, and then get across, take the exit, switch, and then drive back across, and take in the really cool fall view of the whole city and if you can do it on a game day uh, you know where there's a night or afternoon game with the lights on at Lambeau you can just see it all there it's a beautiful view and a really cool thing if you can just drive over the bridge and just take a look at all the fall colors on your way from one spot to the next. The next spot that I would recommend you guys checking out is actually the hill over at the Titletown District. Uh, it's used for sledding in the winter and in fall and summer. You can just come up here and take in the views of the west side of Green Bay, the new development, and just neighborhoods full of trees. It's a really beautiful view and obviously you get to take in the ambiance of the football setting and lots of fun things for families to do if you wanted to come over and you had little kids on your adventure as well. 
Another area that I would recommend you guys checking out on the west side of the Green Bay area is the Barkhausen Waterfowl Preserve. Lots of trails, woods, and just beautiful bayfront area that's you know, undisturbed and just full of beautiful color in the fall. Another area that I would recommend you guys checking out is actually not in Green Bay, so I maybe lied a little bit on that, but that's to make the drive from Green Bay to Lake Michigan, whether it would be Algoma or Two Rivers or Kiwani, do the drive from Green Bay east to Lake Michigan. It's beautiful farm country with rolling hills and lots of cool things to see along the way. And when you get there, you get to take in Lake Michigan in the fall, which is just really incredible and beautiful. You've got sand beaches, you've got rock beaches, and just lots of really cool things in these lake towns. And uh, it really is just fun to take all that in, in the fall colors. So that'd be my other suggestion is go drive from Green Bay in the farm country going out towards Lake Michigan. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video talking about six different places that you could go in the Green Bay area to see beautiful fall colors. It's really an incredible time of year and I hope this gives you an opportunity to experience some of that Green Bay fall magic. If you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up if it gave you some value, I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell to get notifications when we release new content. Thanks again for watching. My name is Andrew Guywitz, your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. And we will see you again on another video with Living in Green Bay.